Okay, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Council Member Daniel Drum and I'm Chair of the Committee. We have been joined by um, Council Member Vanessa Gibson, Council Member Keith Powers, Council Member Andy Cohen, Minority Leader Steve Matteo, and Council Member Barry Gredenchuk. Today the Committee will be voting on 20 Article 11 property tax exemptions and holding a hearing on a pre-considered introduction. Let's start with a pre-considered introduction sponsored by Councilmember Rodriguez in relation to reducing the commercial motor vehicle tax for medallion taxi cabs. This bill would reduce the M CMVT imposed on medallion taxi cabs from $1,000 to $400 to match the annual tax levied on all other vehicles used for the transportation of passengers. If passed, the bill would be retroactive and deemed to be effective as of May 31st, 2019. The administration, while not here in person today, has submitted written testimony supporting the legislation for the record. This is one piece of a package of legislative items that the Council will consider to ease the burden on struggling medallion owners, many of whom have significant debt. The Council is hopeful that by providing a $600 annual tax reduction to each medallion taxi cab owner, it will help ease that burden. Uh, next, we have the Article 20, Article 11 exemptions. The exemption applications are within Speaker Johnson's district and the districts of Council Members Cabrera, Ayala, Gibson, Perkins, Reynoso, Torres, King, Cohen, and Joni. Collectively, the projects would receive Article 11 exemptions to support either the construction or preservation of 2,059 affordable units of housing throughout Brooklyn, the Bronx, Manhattan, and Queens. All of the council members in the relevant districts are supportive of these actions. For specific details on each of these projects, please see the memorandum prepared by the Finance Division staff, which is available online at the council's website and part of the official record. Representatives of HPD are here to answer any questions we may have on the Article 11 exemptions. Do any council members have any questions? Okay. Uh, if there's anybody who would like to testify on the pre-considered introduction, we'll now hear testimony from the, pro uh, from the public, and I believe we have one person, and that is by Ravi Desai <coughs> from the New York Taxi Workers Alliance. Okay. And if there's anyone else, please go to the Sergeant at Arms and fill out a form like this, and we will have you up to give testimony. Okay, Ms. Desai, would you like to start? Yes, thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Beta V. Desai. I'm the Executive Director of the New York Taxi Workers Alliance. We represent the drivers in the taxi and for hire vehicle industry. Um, we have over 21,000 members, and while half of them drive for Uber, Lyft, Via, or Juno, um, you know, over 10,000 of them still work in the yellow cab industry. We all know that there is an unprecedented crisis. There's been a race to the bottom for drivers across this industry. And there's been a really an unprecedented crisis, particularly for yellow cab owner drivers. Um, as you know, nine professional yellow cab and for hire vehicle drivers committed suicide in, the, in a year and a half period because of the economic crisis and despair. Four of the nine drivers were all owner drivers. Even though owner drivers actually represent the smallest percentage of drivers in the entire industry. Um, while reducing the, what we call it the tax stamp in the industry, while reducing the tax stamp, you know, by, by $600 certainly is it's really just barely a drop in the bucket compared to the massive crisis that people are facing. It is still at least one more step forward, and it's, it's a, we're, we're appreciative of this proposal. What we would say is, of course, particularly for the individual owner drivers, for it to be an exemption of, of 100%, that they shouldn't have to pay anything particularly right now. You know, we've been, we've been working with our members on hardship intakes in order to get the banks to reduce the loans. What we're finding is that on average, they, they pay about $6,000 a month for their operating expenses. That's just operating expenses alone. What they're booking on the meter nowadays goes almost entirely 
to their operating expenses. Half of those expenses are for the medallion mortgage. So we've been fighting to have that amount reduced. Um, we, we've seen that on average, owner drivers ending the year after operating expenses, um, taking all their family household income into consideration, they're in average in debt of $28,000 a year. So there's a massive crisis in terms of their annual earnings. But big part of that is just their month to month cash flow. And that's why the reduction in this tax would be important to us. As you know, the payment for this tax is coming up within the next couple of weeks. Given people are literally living at this point, day to day, week to week, if they're fortunate, they're now living month to month, any kind of a reduction in these fees is something that we consider helpful. Um, again, I would just reiterate that it be brought down you know, to zero, particularly for individual owners, and that the city not take any action against them, such as a suspension of a medallion for non-payment. Because once you're suspended, you obviously can't go to work. It just becomes a deeper cycle of debt that families are you know, really struggling at this point to desperately get out of. Thank you. Thank you very much, and um, you know um, we feel very sensitive about the issue with the taxi cab drivers. And I have um, a district that has many drivers mm -hmm. as well. I represent Jackson Heights and Elmhurst, and so uh, the issues that they're facing right now are very dear to my heart. Also, I think this is the first step uh, that we're taking, and there will soon be a package of um, items coming up to further address the issue. Uh, and we look forward to continuing to work with you on that as we move through the process. Thank you. Yes, uh, Councilmember Grudenchik. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank you for being here today. Um, you have been the face of many faceless individuals. Um, like Chair Drum, I have many, many people who I've met with on a one-to-one -one basis who uh, own medallions who have, are suffering greatly uh, in Eastern Queens. So. I think this is uh, a very logical uh, first step, but only a first step um, to paring down uh, the enormous debt that these folks uh, face. And so I look forward to seeing that package of legislation as well. And uh, we as a council will be moving forward on this. So thank you for being here this morning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you very much for coming in and giving testimony. Okay, we have been joined by council members uh, Lanceman, Van Bremer, and, and Ma Majority Leader Cumbo. Uh, and with that, we have a quorum. Okay. So I'm gonna ask uh, that we vote on the pre-considered resolution. We are not voting on the reduction in the fees just yet. We're going to first vote on, on the um, Article 11 items. So I'm gonna ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance, council member Drum. I vote aye. Gibson. Aye. Cohen. Aye. Cumbo. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Powers. Aye. Matteo. Aye. I vote nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, thank you very much. We're gonna keep the vote open for another 10 minutes or so. We do expect other council members to come. I wanna thank my colleagues for coming and uh, we'll see you shortly, uh, most of you, many of you downstairs. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>